They may be a national icon, but the old English sheepdog is in trouble. Numbers are way down. Pauline Barnes is a former Crufts winner turned judge. In terms of ownership, this top breeder definitely recommends it. What are they like as, as pets? Wonderful. They're soft, they will lay with you. They know when you're not well. If you tell them off, they know. They will walk away and then about 10 minutes later they come back and they just look at you as if to say, I am sorry, Mum. I bet you can't imagine life without them, can you? No, I can't, you know. Um, every now and again we said, that's it, we're having no more. And then all of a sudden I look round and there seems to be another one. <laughs> of course, a lot of us just call them the Dulux dog, but popularity has waned and they are now officially on the vulnerable list. Perhaps we don't have the time. You need a lot of it and space too. Well, this is a, a national emergency. The old English sheepdog, endangered. I can't imagine anybody is happy about that. No, Bronte's not. Maybe they're just not on trend anymore. I think, think certainly with social media has seen a big increase in small dogs, certain types of dog that, that we see celebrities carrying around. And it's possibly made them more popular with the public than, than the sort of traditional larger dogs um, that were popular in the past. But they don't have to be high maintenance. Magnus and Francesca here are the trimmed down versions, literally. And Pauline thinks lockdown encouraged a big slowdown among reputable breeders. I mean, yes, our numbers are down, our pedigrees are closer, so we have to be careful what we use on our dogs or our bitches, but I'm not at all worried, no, no. And if people really want one, they will wait. So maybe, just maybe, the concerns will prove to be a shaggy dog story. Simon Viger, Five News.